How do I determine if a man has low testosterone and is a candidate for testosterone replacement therapy? First and foremost, I treat patients and their symptoms, not numbers. I use labs to guide treatment. Just because the lab says your total testosterone is normal or your free testosterone even is normal, that doesn't mean you don't have low testosterone. That doesn't mean you're not suffering from low testosterone symptoms. And that does not mean that you are not a candidate for testosterone replacement therapy, just so long as you understand risks versus benefits and the benefits outweigh the risk for you as an individual. Now, to determine the likelihood that a patient's symptoms are one, impacting his quality of life, and two, likely to be due to low testosterone and not other causes, we use the androgen deficiency in the aging male score. You can take this self-assessment at unleashedmedical.com backslash A-D-A-M-S, Adams. It's completely free. You'll fill out a questionnaire, it takes five minutes. You can even estimate your total testosterone based on your score compared to other men that took the score previously. Now, men who score below a certain threshold on that test very likely have symptoms that are in fact due to having low testosterone. So then, of course, I do get labs on my patients before prescribing testosterone replacement therapy, regardless of what they score on that test. Labs are not perfect, and total testosterone doesn't tell the whole picture. As men, we only use maybe one up to 3% of our total testosterone. The rest is gonna be bound up by sex hormone binding globulin and by albumin. So it's also very important that aside from the total testosterone, that number that most guys talk about, I have 800 or 300 or 1200, whatever, but it's also important that we look at the free testosterone, the unbound testosterone that our bodies are actually using. Now, why is it then that we don't only measure the free testosterone? That's what we're using. Well, this test isn't perfect. It's usually an estimate that's calculated by your total testosterone, your sex hormone binding globulin, and your albumin. So this number isn't perfect. It's for this reason that we need to look at symptoms, total testosterone, and free testosterone. We need to look at the whole picture. Just because total testosterone is normal doesn't mean that the free testosterone is going to be normal, and vice versa. There's also going to be day-to-day -day and even hour-by-hour -hour fluctuations in testosterone. So again, this is why, yes, I use labs to guide treatment but at the end of the day, I prioritize that patient's symptoms. As long as they understand the risks versus benefits, testosterone replacement therapy is something that they wanna do. I think it's perfectly acceptable and I'm comfortable prescribing that patient testosterone replacement therapy for at least a trial of about three months. Now, if you're suffering from symptoms that you think may be due to low testosterone, such as low libido, not waking up with morning wood, difficulty gaining or maintaining muscle mass, putting on belly fat, insulin resistance, depressed mood, brain fog, or energy, I encourage you to take the Adams test at unleashedmedical.com. If you score below a certain threshold, I will send you an email with a discount on the lab panel to get them done at any lab per location near you. We'll then meet for a telemedicine consultation that will be included, discuss your Adams score, discuss your lab results, discuss the risks versus benefits of treatment, and if it's something you wanna do, then we can get you started that day.